Are you trying to figure out how to set up a metronome or click track in Pro Tools? Don't you worry, in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how to do that so you can get started on your next recording. Are you ready? Let's go. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Five Piece, producer and engineer extraordinaire. Thank you for checking out today's video and I'm about to break down exactly how to set up a metronome or click track in Pro Tools. Every DAW is different, so I definitely advise that if you're watching this, you are a Pro Tools user. And I'm about to break down a whole bunch of stuff and be sure to pay attention throughout this video because as I explain things, I'm gonna definitely be leaving some mini tips at the bottom of the screen that you can take in and that will hopefully elaborate what I'm talking about a little bit further if you need some extra help. So with that in mind, let's actually get into Pro Tools here and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up. So I've got a template open here, and if you don't have a template of your own to work with, don't worry, this is something that each individual Pro Tools user should create. And if you need help with creating a template and understanding exactly what it is, I'm gonna leave a link to another video up above right now, so definitely feel free to check that out. I think it'll be very helpful, especially if you're new to Pro Tools and this whole process. Now with that in mind, everything I am about to talk about is not unique to this template. You're gonna be able to follow this step by step no matter what session you have open. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to look to the top right hand corner of our screen of our window and pay attention to the transport and the MIDI controls. Now if you're not seeing it like this, you may want to press this drop down and make sure that your transport and MIDI controls are enabled and being displayed. An alternative is to press and hold command and the numeric keypad one and it'll open up an external transport bar. One third way to do that is to go to window and choose transport. As you can see, the quick key that I just mentioned out loud is there. And what we're gonna wanna do is again, pay attention to this tempo section. Now right now, because I am in a template and I've disabled a few things, I'm able to just automatically adjust my tempo here. And of course the tempo is important because the tempo is what the click track ultimately plays out. Now if you're unable to edit your tempo, it's probably because you have the conductor enabled. A lot of times in a default session, the conductor is enabled and it basically locks the tempo to a specific tempo and you can't adjust it. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is of course, just click and disable the conductor. That's gonna be the first step if you encounter it. The next step is you're gonna wanna set your tempo to whatever the instrumental or the song is. So let's just pretend that it is 84 BPM. That's the tempo, so I'm going to enable that. You're gonna notice that this metronome button is lit up. I'm gonna talk about this again in a few moments, but this really just allows you to hear the metronome or you can easily disable it and the metronome will still be in the track, but you won't hear it. But none of that really matters because even though I have this, you're gonna see that there is no metronome playing. For example, let me play a moment. You're gonna see, despite these settings, we're not hearing any metronome whatsoever. Right? You get the point. So ultimately what I'm saying is we actually have to physically create a click track. So to actually create the click track so we can hear it, we're gonna to navigate to the top menu at the top of our screen and we're gonna to go to track and then we're gonna to go to create click track. And it should insert the click track right after whatever track you've initially selected. I selected the premix here so it put it under there. I then like to drag it to the top just so it's at the very top and easy to spot. So now that I've done that, when I play this, you're gonna be able to hear that you know, the click is playing, right? So we know that we've set it up correctly. So now let me come back to this metronome button. Now watch this. Some people may just say, okay, mute your metronome when you don't want to hear it and then unmute it when you do, but that's a little bit impractical. So instead what I suggest is you use this button here on the transport. So watch what happens as I play this, I'm going to take it in and out. Right, we're still hearing it and we're able to take it out at different times depending on what we want because sometimes you don't want to hear the click as you're doing certain things and then other times you do. Now me personally, I find it's a little bit clunky to actually click things in and everything in Pro Tools is really much better when you use hotkeys or quick keys. So for me, if you use numeric pad seven, which I'm doing right now, you can see that it's turning the click on and off. So I definitely recommend that you use that instead. 
Now, one other thing that I want to consider before we wrap this up is I want to talk about tapping tempo. Tapping tempo is sometimes when you don't actually know the tempo that you want, maybe you're writing a song for the first time, or you just have a beat that you can't really locate the tempo of, you're going to want to tap it out. So what you can do for that is you can actually click on the tempo. As you see, I've clicked it and it's highlighted and selected. And by the way, I could easily do the same thing here. This is the exact same thing. I'm just doing it in two different locations or having it displayed in two different locations. But if I click this tempo, I can then press the T button, T for Terrence, and I can tap it out. And you see how the tempo is now adjusting as I tap, right? And the way, again, that you'd want to do this is you'd probably want to have an instrumental queued up or another song queued up and playing that you can then tap along to to then map the tempo of the session, okay? That's generally the best practice, and I do go back and forth. Sometimes I know exactly what the BPM is because the producer's given it to me or because I produced the track and I just want to map the tempo to it. And then the other side of it is sometimes I don't know at all and I want to mirror something else, or I have to just find it out manually because the producer didn't give me that information. That's where tap tempo comes in handy. Now, one other cool thing that you could do is if you want, you could change the sound of your click. As you can see here, I've opened up the actual click plugin that we've created here. And I could change it to anything that we want here. Let's try this. So obviously we're manipulating one of the clicks and there's actually two going on. So if I want, I can actually make them both the same. Right? And you can basically play around with this and find the one that you like best. I'm just obviously changing things around to show you that there's a lot of different options. I usually use the default one, but just in case you want to be a little bit more particular, or if it's hard to hear, you can of course change the actual sound of the click and that should make your life a little bit easier. So there you have it. This was a pretty quick and simple tip, but I know that it might be confusing, especially for the new people that are just coming on to Pro Tools for the first time. If you got value out of this video, I ask that you please like this video so other people like yourself can get help with this very common question. And if you're new here, I really ask that you consider subscribing to the channel. I drop something new every single week, always focused on helping you sound better and helping you make more money with your music. If you're somebody who's creating music and using Pro Tools to do it, I know my channel will be in a amazing value for you. So please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I appreciate y'all for watching and I'm going to see you again soon. Peace. Five.